What's going on guys? This is the Erie Better Beer Bureau back at you with another beer review. I'm Pat. I'm Dave. And I'm Maury. Today we got a new one from Dogfish Head. This is their Imperial Pale Ale, which weighs in at 8.5%. Uh, this is the Pennsylvania Tuxedo. Uh, it's in collaboration with the Woolrich Clothing Company from PA. Master Brewers. And it's brewed with Pennsylvania Green Spruce Tips. So, we are going to get into this. Yeah, nice. This thing's looking like a nice one. Yeah. I thought it, I thought I heard someone say that it was PA only, but after researching it today, I don't it's think not, it no. is. Yeah, I think it's full distro. Um, but we're going to get into it. We'll let you know what we think. Oh, man. There's that spruce and piney hops. Oh, yeah. Some citrus. A little bit of a malt backbone. Yeah, in there's there. a yeah. decent sweetness you know, underneath yeah. it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could have sworn this was brewed with other malts when I first read it. What do you it, mean, you know, other, other, other malts? Pens uh, with uh, other grains, rather. With uh, I thought for some reason it said it was brewed with rye, but I'm wrong. It doesn't I, say that yeah. in the bottle. No, it does not. But I thought I read somewhere else that it had rye and wheat. Grassy citrus kick complemented by the resinous conifer notes of fresh green spruce tips. And I know for okay. sure that the spruce tips are from PA, too. Nice. So. Yeah. Please. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, man, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. For a pale, this is real nice. Just for it's a, got a nice body to it. I get same as the aroma. I get tons of citrus. I get pine. I get spruce. Um, I think the, what I like best about it's like it, a hoppy Christmas tree. Is it, it's like a straight up pale ale right off the bat. Yeah. But then that that spruce just goes right into the back end, and you in it mm. you finish on a spruce note, and it's actually really I, pleasant. I can't imagine how well balanced this is. I you know when I read it, I bought a single bottle thinking. I need to try this. Yes. But it could be a disaster. And it is the farthest thing from a disaster. It is like bordering masterpiece right. of balance. And I, I wasn't thinking it was going to be a disaster because I honestly like spruce beers. But I thought it was going to be a gimmicky beer. Right. The first time I sipped it, which was last night, I was thinking the same thing as I'm thinking right now. The first word that comes to mind is balance. It yeah. has a beautiful sweetness, beautiful carbonation, a little bit of spruce, some hops. has a little bit of everything nice and not too body, much of yeah. anything. Right. Uh, being a Pennsylvanian, I'm a little skewed at the, the overall labeling. <laughs> well, we're all I'm trying, skewed to be Yeah, better, right. Uh, uh, bottom line is I'm going with a four and a half. I'm towing the line of a 4.75 on this thing. Um, it's just that good of a pale ale. Actually, I'm going to give it a 4.75. This beer is fantastic. I like it more than the bottle I had last night. Um, it's one of the ones that's getting better. Like, I, every time I try it, I was a little hesitant about it, and I'm thinking, Ugh. And just every time I drink it, it, it's just better and better and better. And like you guys, we've all said it, the balance is what makes it. Mm -hmm. It is, I've never had a more balanced with such a, uh, an adjunct that could go horribly wrong. Uh, with that, and I'm going 4.75 on the Pennsylvania Tuxedo. All right. I also am going to up my score from last time. Um, I'm going to give it a 4.5. Uh, I like it quite a bit. Um, and for what they set out to do, I don't know how much better you could have done it. That's what I'm saying. Unless you, like, you, you know, you really up the hops and went like... But again, I don't think that... I think they want it. Out it yes. Though. And normally... Shocker, I know. I'm not a huge, huge fan of, like, too much balance. But in the case of this beer, it's just perfect. And so I'm going to give it a four and a half. I'm all about balance in my beers. This is not new to anyone who's ever watched any of our reviews. Yes. Right. This beer is perfectly balanced. For what they were going for, the, for the kind of beer they're brewing, as it, just as a, as a pale ale with spruce tips, I, I am hard-pressed to think you could make do this any better than it is right now. I don't think you can, right yeah. You know, for what they're aiming for, for for a straight pale ale with spruce tips, I don't think you can improve on this. And for that reason, I'm giving it a five. Mm. Wow. Can you do Dropping a better it. pale ale with spruce tips? You do. I, I see your point, yeah. I I can't think of a way you can do that. It's perfectly balanced. Needs to say, a very well-made beer. And right. uh, if you guys can find this, especially when it's fresh, I mean, now's the time. 
and yeah. I would jump on it as soon as you and, can. And, and you know, we're rating we're rating the style here. Right. I mean, truth be told, I mean, you know, a pale ale with spruce tips. I don't know. I don't know how much better it can be done. Yeah. So, yeah. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Usually they're right on the neck. 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 Right on the ne